Hi, this is Jen Colby from the UVM Extension Center for Sustainable Agriculture in the Pasture Program. And um, we're going to start doing a, a series of short videos to sort of help folks get started in this era of social distancing. We want to make sure that you still get the tools and tips that you need to be able to um, graze effectively and um, safely and successfully. Uh, so today we're going to talk about grazing um, early in the season and how to be cautious about not grazing too soon and how that might be helpful to know um, which, uh, when is the right time to get out and uh, to begin um, grazing. So today we're going to get, um, we're going <clears> to, <throat> so today we're going to talk about how to um, understand what's going on with the grass so that you have a better understanding of when you should start to graze. It's really um, common this time of year for folks to start grazing earlier than they probably should for the long-term health of their pastures and of their animals. Uh, I know it's totally tough this time of year, especially in a mild winter like the one that we've had this year where the snow goes away really um, early start to see a little green up and it feels like you should totally get the animals out there. Um, it's tough, it's a little bit of a struggle, I totally get it too. Uh, and looking at the stored feed costs and um, how expensive it is just to keep uh, animals uh, fed this time of year and um, how it looks like out there um, there's a lot more grass than there is. So um, that's why I have my handy dandy whiteboard today to talk about the um, how grass plants grow. <laughs> 